Canadian Blood Services and Emma Quebec made an application to Health Canada in December of this year asking us to reduce the deferral period from one year to three months. We have to take a few steps back as well and recognize that in 2016 we reduced the deferral period from five years to one year. So this year we're very pleased to announce uh, today that Health Canada has agreed with the deferral period and the deferral period is now six months, uh, three months, sorry. So as a result, uh, men uh, who have sex with, with men will be able to give blood uh, after a deferral period of three months. Well, this is a big win for the LGBTQ community. When we started in office, the ban was at five years. Even before that, it was a lifetime ban. So we went to five years and then uh, under our government went to one year. We've been working with the community. We funded the science. We funded three and a half million dollars towards the science so that we could follow the science and reduce. And now today, uh, it's a great honor with the minister to announce that we are uh, going down to three months. The research continues. There's still money there. The research continues into the behavioral based model. We're still working on the file. This puts us at the at the same level as the United Kingdom, Scotland and Wales on this issue. We continue to work with the community. It's a good day and it demonstrates what happens when government follows the science.